The moon is Israel's unexplored frontier, and the lunar lander Genesis is getting ready for its voyage. Its mission, to explore magnetic fields on the moon and to boldly go where no Israeli has gone before. We'll take the spacecraft to uh, Cape Canaveral, get it ready for launch, put it on the rocket, and uh, cross our fingers that the launch goes well. And then it's a long, arduous, very complicated uh, journey to the moon. The spaceship is Israel's first moon mission, and it's a world first as well, a moon mission undertaken by a private company and not a government. It costs $95 million to complete, but the founders hope it will spark a new era of private spaceflight. Its mission is not strictly scientific. It's also one to inspire future generations of Israelis, because this machine will have more than just equipment and fuel on board. It will have a time capsule full of pictures from children and Israeli images, an inspiration to future generations. And they say, if a small country like us can do something exciting like that, I can do anything. So it's about getting kids excited and getting kids to decide to do serious things when they grow up and study technological education. And as a generation of Israeli space pioneers hopes to bring the next, they say they were spurred on by those who came before. The first Israeli astronaut, Ilan Ramon, who died in the Space Shuttle Columbia accident in 2003. We're inspired by the Ilan Ramon mission. He went where no Israeli had gone before. This is the first, therefore, the first picture that we're going to take of the Earth will be dedicated to Ilan, a true Israeli pioneer venturing into the unknown. The mission is set to launch sometime in early 2019, and its founders hope it will be the first of many Israeli forays into space. Ariel Levin-Waldman, I-24 News.